has talked about over the years and normally I mean the, the, the whole big Bonanza Silver Day was such a big event every single year and then we stopped it. It's like oh d let's take away Easter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We didn't. I'm saying QVC Shopping World. You no, know, I'm sorry. We're taking. Uh, you know what? The Fourth of July. We're not celebrating it anymore. No, no. We're moving it to the second. We're way, moving it to the right. No, we're bringing it back today, and you're happy. Let's talk about customer top rated, and let's talk about uh, your pick of the show. The chain is is a separate purchase, but this is an artisan crafted cross. Telkari. Did I pronounce that correctly? Telkari, right. It's a weaving term. This is from Turkey, made in Midiat in the Christian area of Assyria Christian area. Hmm. Incredible, incredible detail. And it's actually a weaving term that they actually go in. You can see the outline of the cross is solid sterling silver. Then they go in with sterling silver wire and actually weave inside each of them. And there's so, again, there's so much detail here. This is patterned after a monastery that was built in 397 BC. And I think we've got a picture of the monastery, I hope. And um, yeah. And when you see the monastery, I stayed at the monastery. We I actually stayed in one of the cells. And this cross that you see is based on a cross that's actually in the wall. The next picture is going to be the cell, that's what they call them. It's actually where I stayed, built in 397. Assyrian Christians have been there for thousands and thousands of years. You know, they have been making artisan so crafted you jewelry. Have, you have been there? I have been there. I, no. That's where I stayed. I stayed in one of those beds. Wow. Right there. That's the city of Midiat which is Assyrian Christians. They're the ones that make this cross so much symbolism. In the morning when you walk out of the monastery, you see fields and fields of almond flowers. And almond flowers are significant because they're the first flower to bloom in spring. They say when spring and they represent the resurrection. So when you're looking at this cross, you not only see almond flowers, see the almond flower right in the center, but look at the shape of almonds. Almonds are mentioned nine times in the Bible. Very, very important. I didn't know that. Yeah, very, I'm very Catholic important. Boy, I didn't know that. There you go. And when you look, look at the detail. And I, let's let's also turn it to the side. Let's do it. Because boy, I want you to see the, the dimension on this. And the dimension, by the way, is going to be two and an eighth by one and an eighth. So the scale is great, but there you see the three-dimensional aspect. Right. And look at the flower. Do you see each part of that flower is a separate piece of sterling silver that's been shaped? And do you see the loops in the center? Those are not individual pieces. Those are a solid loop all the way around, which represents eternity. I mean, so, so much symbolism. Um, are you, anybody looking at the graphic here? Anybody looking at the price? Everything's on four easy payments or more today. Four easy payments of $8 and change to bring it home. It's under 34, it's sale priced, and it's customer top rated. As 500 people are shopping right now, man oh man oh man are you shopping. We're, we're, we're ticking up close to 4,000 of our today's special values. The pink and the blue getting limited, and this is back, and this sale price is pretty incredible. Uh, when you looked at the customer top ratings, obviously they're gonna be loving the detail and the scale of right, the piece, right? Right, right, very wearable. My mother and my sister both have this. They wear it all the time. It's their favorite cross it's a conversation piece because when you look at it, number one, it's a beautiful piece of jewelry. It's all solid sterling silver, but also the symbolism. You know, as with many crosses, they represent, of course, the cross, which is very, very important. But when the details in the cross represent different things, you know, the center, the flower represents the resurrection. The almonds represent other things. But look at, I love these details when you see them close up because you see the solid silver all the way around it. Yeah, but then beautiful. see the weaving that they do inside it. And you see the twisted rope. Again, these are ancient techniques. What they do is they twist that by hand. You know the old hand beater right. that you do by hand? Right. They actually attach the wire to the hand beater and they do the rotator. That's how modern you know, some of these are. What's blowing me away is, is, um, is the intricacy right. of ancient art and ancient architecture. I was, I was lucky enough and blessed enough to, to go to QVC Italy some years ago and we and look at look at this. It's so unique. I've gotten many compliments when I've worn it. These are customer top ratings. Um, Queen Ad Lady says, I'm in love with this crust, the beauty of it, the design, the workmanship, it stands out and will definitely be noticed um, and noticed for its symbolism and noticed for obviously the detail of it as well. Uh, customer top rated. But we're going, we're seeing these Duomos and, we're, and we took a tour of the Vatican and you're just looking up yeah. at some of these extraordinary ancient buildings and you're, and you're just, you're, you're like, how? How do they how they do that? How they how they get up there? How they and and the attention to detail. So it, it's really appreciated. I think by a lot of people appreciate right. you know subtle attention to detail. And so what obviously is 
being done here is they're trying to encapsulate some of that in this Turkish piece uh, and put it into this one beautiful cross. A thousand people are shopping right now. How about that, other shopping places? Yeah, a thousand people, like right now, in the moment, are shopping for this piece um, for $8.47. So let's talk the size of it. Um, this could be worn on a longer chain, easily. Oh, absolutely. A 36-inch right. chain, right? Right, right, or on an Omega. You know, you can wear it short, you could wear it long. What about, what about gift time? What about Easter gift? What about mom for Mother's Day? What about someone who's celebrating a birthday and, and, and they're, they collect crosses and, and they're, they, they, they just are so committed to their faith and you're not sure what to get them, but you want to get them something that's really unique. Give me the, the, the country of origin is a little, I need a little education right, on that. Right, right. Well, because I wouldn't think right. cross right away. No, it's a modern country of Turkey, but it really is ancient Assyria. And the Assyrian Christians have been there for thousands of years. Huh. And when you see this, they're still there. They're still making handmade jewelry. There's not many of them making handmade jewelry. But you see the detail. You can see the love of their faith. And you can see the love of their artistry. When you see the piece and you see the detail here. So much detail, so much artistry. And it's just a beautiful cross. So and let's just play a little bit here. And let's talk about detail from around the world, right? Detail from around the world. That's what this day is all about. Although we're celebrating this American story, and it is a yep. big discovery of American story, uh, when it comes to the Big Bonanza Silver Day, we're traveling the world and we're bringing you beautiful pieces. And, and one of the places we're going to be going in just a little bit, we're going to be going to the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, we're going to be going to Tanzania. And we're going to be discovering the only Tanzanite ring. Look at the color of that Tanzanite that we have coming up in just a little bit. So just a little taste of what's going on. About 3,600 people have shopped for today's special value and a couple hundred in each size remaining of our pink. Uh, when it comes to that pink opal, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. In the last minute, why did you make it your pick right, of the right. show, Peyton? Well, I want you to go to qvc.com, to Peyton Kelly QVC to my Facebook page because I have the, the pictures of this there, the mm. pictures of Midiot and also the story behind it. I picked this because the symbolism, what it means to the people that are making this, you know, when you see the beauty of it and the detail of it, you see that almond flower right in the center of it. When you know it's from a monastery that was built in 397 AD, that's a long time ago. It's a long time that ago. That was right. And it's an incredible experience to be there. It's an exper incredible experience to see this cross. Uh, well, they're loving it. Loving your pick. 1,700 of you are loving that pick at J270080. I don't want to assume that everybody knows how to shop on QVC, so you can call the number on your screen right now. If you love QVC, you can go to QVC.com. Peyton just mentioned. Hey, so much to talk about. And here's the only watch of the day. The only watch of the day it's from Ecclesi. Surprise, surprise. It's sterling silver.